Okay, so the E step basically here we're going to compute membership weights which is basically um, the probability that a certain point that a certain point belongs to a cluster okay and I ex this as similar to um, the Bayes classifier. And that you give it a data point and it will return um, basically the probabilities that this data point belongs to each of the different clusters. Right? And I think we said the weight so this is um, equal to the probability that z i k is equal to one, given um, x sub i and the thetas. Okay. So this is um, the weight that observation i belongs. Oh, I'm sorry. I k. Which I I k belongs to cluster k. Is equal to the probability that um, the assignment z for uh, observation i and cluster k equals one given the data and um, parameters. Okay. And so on the top, we're going to have basically, um, if it's a Gaussian mixture, so this is um, On the top, we've got um, basically the normal density um, of basically getting x sub i uh, given um, the mu of class k and the sigma of class k multiplied by alpha sub k, okay, where alpha sub k is the current mixture weights. And then this is going to be um, basically sum of all the numerators. numerators for, uh, you know, k equal 1 to big K. So you sum up all of these different things, okay? So that's going to give you your um, at basically uh, membership weights. So it's like the probabilistic assignments that each point i belongs to some cluster k. So if you have 100 data points, then wik will be a, a matrix with 100 rows, and k, if you have three clusters, three, three columns, things like that. Okay. In truth, the z is a bunch of ones and zeros, but we don't know that. And so we're going to use the uh, the weights here. All right.
Is this okay? This is should feel kind of like the uh, phase classifier. All right, and then once you have um, these assignments, then we have to update our um, we have to update our estimated mu sub k and sigma sub k's. Okay. <coughs> Bless you. Okay. I'm sorry. And the sigma, I should have drawn the capital sigma. Okay. So once we have w i sub k, we will update the um, parameter estimates uh, mu sub k and uh, sigma sub k for each class. Okay, and this is called the M step because we're trying to um, basically do uh, uh, maximize step. Okay, because um, mu sub k and sigma sub k are selected to maximize the likelihood of the um, basically weighted data. Okay. So the, um, the mixing proportions <coughs> will equal um, will be alpha sub k. This is going to be n sub k divided by n. Okay, this is going to be um, the number of points, but it's quote unquote number of points assigned to class k divided by uh, number of observations and data. Okay, so let's say um, W i sub k, the matrix, or not even W i sub k, just the W matrix, let's say we have, um, is, uh, you know, four by two. Let's say we have two classes and four data points, okay? You might have something like 0.9 and 0.1 and 0.2 and 0.8 and 0 0.01 and 0 0.99 and 0 0.7 and 0 0.3, okay? So the number of points currently assigned to class one, so for k equals one, has um, n sub k equal to, we would add, add up this column. So nine plus 0.2 is 1.1, 1 .1 1.81 points are assigned to, uh, so n sub 1 has 1.81, and n sub 2 would be uh, 2.19, okay? And I know that feels weird, but this is based on our current weights. Um, we currently estimate that, um, that that's how much we have. Okay, is that all right? So that's your current wastes. And then your mu sub k is going to be equal. So let's say um, uh, the current values of x itself. x is a two by two matrix, and maybe it has the values um, Three, zero, and four, one, and um, one, six, and zero, four, or something like that, okay? Because we're trying to cluster these. And so um, 
mu sub k would be the weighted means, okay? And so um, I would have to basically do w times, what is, what is the appropriate um, thing, okay? And then we would do the column sums of this. So I want to weight this 3 and the 4 heavily, but I'm going to weight the 1 and the 0 uh, less heavily for classification 1, right? So um, all right, this, is, this is not the correct formula. <laughs> all right, but it, okay, the weighted means for this thing, so I've got to um, basically take everything in our matrix, w i sub k, and I multiply it by um, the vector x sub i, okay? So, and, um, and we would sum this up and divide by your n sub k. So um, for, let's just say, okay, so let's do for k equals one, I would have to do 0 0.9 times 3 plus uh, 0.2 times 1 plus 0.01 times 0 plus 0.7 times 4, okay? And all of that divided by 1.81, okay? And then we would do the same thing. So this would give us kind of the mean of the uh, first coordinate for classification one. And then um, I would need to do it for the other column. And so I would have uh, one over 1.81 times 0.9 times zero plus 0.2 times six plus 0.01 times four plus 0.7 times one, okay? And this would give me um, basically a pair of coordinates, okay, for column one and column two. And I would have to do the same thing for class two. Hmm? Yeah, that's just for class one, okay? And um, because your mu sub k, this is a, a vector, right? Um, mu sub 1 is a 1 by 2 vector. And mu sub 2 is a 1 by 2 vector for the kind of the, the means of class, class 1 and class 2. Okay? And then, um, all right, so that's the weighted means, and then you have to do the same thing for the uh, covariance, okay? And so uh, the last one is uh, basically the weighted uh, covariance matrix estimate. And that's going to be, um, so for each class, you're going to get um, this is the sum of basically it's the covariance equation, but it's weighted. So you're going to have um, your vector x sub i minus, and you had to figure out your uh, mu sub k, right? So that's the covariance, but then you weight them appropriately. And then at the end, you divide this by 1 over n sub k. Okay. And then so you'll get, you will have a covariance matrix for each cluster k. Okay. All right, and then so once you have, okay, now that we have updated Uh, 
updated mu and sigma um, estimates for um, each class, we go back and do the E step again. And we get new estimates. We calculate new um, group membership weights. Okay. Similar to the base classifier. Okay. okay. You get your new group membership weights. Okay. Then do M step and repeat, okay? So you go back and forth between estimating your group membership weights and then using those group membership weights to recalculate the properties of that cluster's distributions. You calculate the um, um, calculate the new mean and the new uh, covariance matrix. Once you have your new uh, mean and covariance matrix estimates, you go back and you re-estimate your group membership weights. Then you go back and estimate your mean and covariance matrix and go back and forth, okay, until you reach a, a point of no more changes and no more updated assignments until convergence. This is going to be I equal 1 to all observations that you have. Yes, question. Uh huh. Yes, this is uh, the wait. Yeah, this is this is the uh, means from the previous step. Previous. Uh, so this would be the weighted weighted mu from the previous, I guess, step or previous, not step, but previous calculation you did. So you have to kind of calculate them in order. Do your alpha, alpha sub k's and your n sub k's and um, the, the vector mu and now your matrix sigma k. Okay, um, try it out in your homework. I hope it makes sense and we'll see you guys on Friday for our last lecture of the quarter.